I'm Nando Rodriguez, your breakthrough coach, and today it's all about how Jennifer Lopez overcame her imposter syndrome for the Halftime Super Bowl 2020 show. Because if you didn't know, now you do. Off the bat, I have never worked with Jennifer Lopez yet, but it's important to understand that imposter syndrome, it affects human beings. No one is immune to it. And Jennifer Lopez has been one of the celebrities to be so open and vulnerable about it. And I wanted to break down what she had to say when she was recently on a panel with Ariana Huffington in front of several women being vulnerable and so authentic with her battle with imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome has an ability to keep you inside the experience that the world is attacking you. So your self-esteem takes a dive and so your self-doubt increases. Now, if you read the comments on the post where celebrities openly talk about how vulnerable, you know, they are about imposter syndrome, people have no mercy. And it creates this silence in society that keeps imposter syndrome alive because when someone does open up about it, they get criticized. And here's the flip side. They do contribute to create the conversation and open up a dialogue. I've gotten so many messages, DMs, emails from women saying, I've never heard of imposter syndrome before your video. Wow, I have it. And research says that 70% of Americans have experienced some type of imposter syndrome in their lifetime. And if you haven't, stay tuned. And research also tells us that 40% of people struggle with it daily. So that's your neighbor, your boss, your sister, your friend, the person sitting next to you on the train. Yeah, that one over there with the Gucci purse. Sister is feeling it good. And inside this video, I will break down JLo's relationship with imposter syndrome in a way that will create more awareness of your own imposter syndrome, but also how she was able to conquer it, in my opinion, and be that empowered woman you saw on Pepsi's halftime Super Bowl show. And if you're one of those rare individuals, it's okay, who doesn't know too much about imposter syndrome, I got you covered. I wanna share with you the comprehensive resource guide my team and I created. It's packed with insights, tips, and ways to conquer imposter syndrome. And you can only get it if you sign up below and comment, hey, Nando, I'm interested and I want it and I'll make sure that you get it. It's over 40 pages of everything you ever needed to know about imposter syndrome with examples of people sharing how it's affected them. And I've included five different types of imposter syndrome categories that exist. I know you're super curious to see if you have it or what level you score, and it's all in the download for free. So go now and sign up to get your resource guide today. Jennifer starts out by saying she doesn't allow the opinions of others to influence how she thinks about herself now. But it took a long time. In the early part of her career, she did, and it made her feel really bad about herself. Here's her journey. And for this conversation, my request is that you take out the superstar status and relate to this as just another entrepreneur's journey trying to make it just like me and you. Her first song went to number one, her first album went to number one, her first movie went to number one, and she was like, yeah, I'm killing it. Then the world had their opinions, thoughts, and reactions. Now, where do you and your journey feel like, OMG, this is a great idea, or a product, or a service, and maybe you create a post on it, or you spend time scripting, writing, editing a video, and then crickets. No one signs up, no likes, no comments. For some, it has an impact. It causes you to reevaluate what you're up to. Should I be doing this? No one liked it. No one commented. The world just doesn't care about what I have to offer. Then it turns into the world doesn't care about me. So back to JLo. JLo goes on to say that after all the success and all the hits, the talk was, well, she can't act. She can't sing. She can't dance. And she started to think, yeah, that's true. And so for you, in the face of no likes, no comments, no clients, no money, are you also thinking, yeah, that's true. I can't entrepreneur. 
I can't take photos. I can't coach clients. I can't make designs. I can't create good websites. I can't heal others. So what did she do? Despite the hurt and the pain, she said, I just kept going. And I couldn't allow myself to let that become who I was. No, I'm gonna make another record. I'm gonna make another song. I'm gonna make another movie. I'm a great actress. I'm a great singer. I'm a great dancer. I'm great at this stuff and I'm gonna keep going and I did. All right, so what I'm hearing is that somewhere, and I don't know exact, you know, the time or the project, but something switched for her. She flipped what I call the internal acknowledgement switch to on and started to see herself as a whole, perfect and complete entrepreneur and not just in segments. And I did a video on that flipping the switch. So go watch that after this video to catch you up. When you flip that switch, nothing, and I mean nothing stands in your way except yourself. You totally understand in the bigger scheme of things that no likes, no comments doesn't mean a thing, especially when not everyone is on Instagram at the same time to see your post or your stories. You're gonna have to post again and again and again. You no longer have thoughts of, but I'm gonna bore people or what if people unfollow me? You only want people to see your contribution inside of generosity and empowerment. Now, don't go spamming people or your timeline, but you get the picture. Jennifer Loker said, and that's what I did. I just kept going. I started believing in myself. I started believing in the fact that I wasn't an imposter, that I wasn't a fake. There was a reason I kept doing this and people kept hiring me. Okay. Maybe I'm good at this after all. It took time. Here, she acknowledges that she flipped the switch and also it wasn't overnight. Trust me, it's like building a new muscle to smash the imposter syndrome. She goes on to say, and maybe it all happened because I don't believe. And once I started to, there were different people at different times in my life telling me, you're good at this. And check this out. She'd go into the studio and start off by saying, listen, I'm not a great singer. I don't sing like Aretha Franklin. How many of you kill your business by doing that very same thing? I'm not the best coach, but I think I can help you. I'm not the best so-and-so, so I'm gonna give you a super low price. And then there you are out in the rain with $5 that you made knowing you should have charged your worth, 500. Thousand. So she'd get into the studio and start off by saying, I'm not a great singer. I don't sing like Aretha Franklin. And they would say, but you sing like Jennifer Lopez and people love it. And this is part of the panel, her voice cracked. And she said, they do. It's really emotional because she was at the core of it all, external validation. If your only means of success is the outside noise, the tweets, the likes, the comments, and the amount of likes, tweets, and comments, because let's be real, some of you get like three likes and are ready to call your therapist. If you're only depending on externals, then your journey as an entrepreneur might come to an early completion because you will have moments of silence. But that internal acknowledgement switch, if on, you will be able to rise up and possibly do your own version of the Halftime Super Bowl show. Jennifer then says, your support system will plant a seed for you to look at yourself in a better way. Yes, that's exactly it. It's creating a world of support. And if you don't have that, you're not gonna last for long. Now, before we go on any further, I have to ask you, what part of Jennifer's story so far can you relate to the best? Let me know in the comments. Now, imagine having that conversation, the one that Jennifer Lopez had with the panel, with someone in your tribe. Have you had it? What thoughts or opinions do you have about it? Are you like, Nando, you're absolutely crazy. I could never say those things to another entrepreneur. They would think I'm a fraud. No, they wouldn't. And your burden of keeping all this hidden, the weight would be lifted, allowing you to create your next big project, 
land your next big gig, I promise you. And this leads me to today's nominalism. Never forget how wildly capable you are. Just to review, what exactly got JLo over the imposter syndrome hump, or at least got her to experience it a little less at a lower level? One, she flipped the internal acknowledgement switch on, where she can look back at her efforts and say, I'm amazing. And two, she created a tribe of support. I'm not talking about yes men or women, people who truly see the point of view she's trapped in and can give her honest feedback that will contribute to her growth and expansion. And I did a video on how imposter syndrome impacts your friendships. So go watch that too, because you might be creating friendships where people don't feel comfortable telling you the truth for your growth purposes. Listen, she could not have killed it like she did in the halftime show without a team. I will tell you that right now. She had to trust people and let them be the experts they are, and she kept in her lane to bring it and kill it. If this video made a difference for you and you discovered something new or learned something new about yourself, share it, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell so you know when the next one's out. So talking about imposter syndrome, if you're interested in creating breakthroughs in your business because you know you have an amazing idea product or service, but there hasn't been any movement in paid clients, funding, or you're not able to close the deals because your imposter syndrome is holding you back, I'm launching a new course and I'm only taking 15 entrepreneurs on this live journey with me. I will be there guiding you and so deep in the trenches discovering blind spots and cheering you on, but also triggering you and confronting you on your old habits. It's not going to be a cakewalk. If you're interested in the details, fill out my coaching application and someone from my team will be in touch within 48 hours. But hold on, you really have to be ready. Your application will be under review because honestly, I'm not for everyone. My past and current clients will tell you I'm awesome, but I also don't let you off the hook. I can't. You got to do real work, but you also see real results. So let's get to the bottom of where your blind spots are, what those precise obstacles keeping you from moving your business forward. I'm Nando Rodriguez, your breakthrough coach. And remember, I'm here empowering you to create unlimited impact, influence, and income.